Well, Stu, I, you know, I recall that we've uh, attempted to get together a number of times. Have we? I think so. Oh, maybe. We've discussed me coming to visit you in Silver City a couple of times. Oh, maybe. And there were plans made, and then, um, and then for one reason or another, mostly my vehicle was not running, mm. or I was out of money, one or the other, and couldn't couldn't come. So we finally meet at, uh, in person yeah. after pff, probably five or six years, maybe more. I I'm not sure. I you know I think I I think somewhere I I ran into a uh, Great Western vehicle thing, and I said, well, I need to, I need to investigate this. Okay. Uh, and you know and, and see what the, see what this mm -hmm. this is because, uh, you know I I had been uh, trying to do, Jana things. Okay. Uh, you know, or, but, you know, which actually turned out to be uh, more of a uh, guided meditation than, okay. than, than actual jhana thing. Okay. I knew one of, uh, a, 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 a monk, uh, one of Bonte G's monks who defrocked, and he said, I got, he says, I got into this because uh, you, I thought I could get high without drugs. Okay. And, and, you know, it's it's interesting that they 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 say they're doing that, but uh, but they're telling you what you're going to see. You know, I mean, it, it's, it's that kind of thing. Oh, I got you. So that's interesting. So your connection to so your connection to me is that you had already somehow discovered or heard yeah. about Jana mm -hmm. before you got to me, mm -hmm. and probably through researching Jana, you found me probably. Mm -hmm. And I'd, you I'd, had somehow gotten connected to a Bhante Gunaratna uh, student. Yeah. And what was well, his name? Do you mind? Uh, well, his, I don't remember his uh, Christian name, if they call it <laughs> anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he, he, he was uh, Puma. You know, he, and he was at... Uh, that was his... Um, he was at... Monastic Sat name was Puma? Yeah, he, he was at... Pune, I think it was. Pune. Okay. He, he he was at Southwest Sangha, which which I used to go to at times. Southwest Sangha is in New Mexico. Uh, San Lorenzo. San Lorenzo. Okay. Membres San Lorenzo. Okay. okay. You know, I mean, uh, Bonte G goes there once in a while. Oh. Okay. And the major thing I can remember having met him a few times is he seems to have the capacity to remember faces. Really. Okay. Although his uh, his uh, his monk uh, said that he he also sat down and uh, memorized the parts of the Pali Canon. Oh, okay. So so he could. Uh, yeah, he's good at quoting. I I yeah. just sat a uh, yeah. ten or eleven day retreat led by him in ah. um, Orange County, uh -huh. uh, mm -hmm. Riverside, yeah. and he was pretty good about quoting sections of the canon. The, I guess the, I think the conflict I had with uh, Gunaratna, I had a couple. Hmm. One was before he arrived, I came and helped set up the retreat, and I helped organize it uh, um, at a distance and invited half the people that showed up for the retreat. And when I got there, the nuns needed to have a resident monk to kind of legitimize them. And uh, <clears throat> at the time, I was looking for for uh, ordination, so I said, "Well, I'd be willing to do be oh. your resident monk." And they said, "Oh, would you? Oh, that'd be great, you know." And but when Bonnie Gunaratna came, uh, it seems like he did everything he could to um, to damage my reputation with the nuns to the point that mm. they. You know, with uh, withdrew their invitation, and yeah. and uh, Gunaratna didn't seem to have much uh, interest in what I had to say or do. So I thought, well, we appear to have different perspectives on the Dharma. Well, yeah. well, yeah. it comes to Silver City once in a while, but. Uh, Okay. It, apparently, it, it appeared to me that the term jhana had been kind of buried. Uh, mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. when I started asking questions about it among Good. the priesthood of Buddhism, I uh, early on I found that they would not even talk about it. If you if I used the term jhana, they would oftentimes get up and walk away. 
And what interests me about yeah. Guna Ratna early on, you know, I started searching the web back, back then, 11 years ago, for the term jhana, as soon as I heard the term jhana. That reminds me, actually, you know, we were talking about Bhantiji, otherwise known as Guna Ratna, um, last night. And I had helped uh, organize a Gunaratna mm -hmm. retreat mm -hmm. in Riverside. So in the middle of the retreat, when it came time for me to have my interview, I had my interview with him. And, uh, you know, at the interview, you're supposed to describe what's going on in your meditation. And then the meditation teacher is supposed to give you some advice, right? I mean, that's understood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I, so I described to him what, was going, what goes on in my meditation experience, which starts with, well, it's very easy for me to still my mind. And after my mind is still, then all this other stuff happens. The music of the spheres, the, uh, these chakra things, and all this kind yeah. of stuff. Yeah. Well, after I was finished describing it, Gunaratna crossed his arms like this, leaned back in his chair and said, You are so arrogant. Ah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And I thought, yeah. well, okay. So, so... Uh, yeah, but uh, you're you're just reporting what, what you're what you're seeing and 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 how how that becomes arrogant. I, I, I haven't a, a clue. Right. right, exactly. He has a nice smile, but <laughs> I, I think it's a, I think it's a well practiced smile. I, I I think I think he practices a lot of uh, what what he does, you know. And I, I wasn't con I wasn't convinced that he when he said that he'd met me before. Oh, okay. Although he had, but how did how how would he remember me out of uh, well, it's well, possible. You know, maybe, yeah, sure it's it is. Possible. You know, but I, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't. You know, do I need? But I don't need to be convinced or uh, unconvinced. Right. But, but anyway, uh, it depends whether that's uh, part of his uh, persona, uh, part of his way he, uh, you know, acts. Well, he certainly didn't act like he didn't. When I met him in person, he didn't say, "Oh, we've met before," or anything like that. Uh, on the other hand, I had been communicating with his uh, ashram or uh, vihara in um, West Virginia. West Virginia, and yeah. I, I had been discussing uh, going to their ordination program, and I hadn't gotten a no yet. Ah, um, yes. So yes, when yes. he came to lead the retreat, okay. Okay. I got the no. <laughs> ah. Yeah. And it was really at that retreat when I realized that <clears throat> Gunaratna's take on jhana is radically different than my take on jhana. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, his, his and, 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 and these Brasingtons are, are different, too. You know uh, what? They're, I, they're I, all I, different. You know, oh, Brasington yeah. is different from uh, sure. Vervamso and Gunaratna yeah, is different yeah. from the those well, two. Well, I, I read Ayakema. I mean, I had right. to, in those days, the only thing I could do is find, you know find a find a clue somewhere, right? And 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 see these things. But I think Ayakema was the first person to publish anything using the term well, jhana. I, I mean, she there. claimed that, that that she could she she'd have to go into into the state to to even talk about it. Oh, okay. it, it, and you know, but, but you know, I mean, you read those things, and then you say, "Well, okay, what, what do you what do you do?" You know, I mean, you can become a smile, and 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 you do get something out of it, or I or I do, okay. but uh, I, I mean, though it's it, it's it's it, it's too much like somebody's telling you how to do it, and 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 you know, I, I, you know, as as a gateway into something else, okay. Right. But you know, and that was their that was their first jhana, mm -hmm. smile. Oh, you know, that's that's that, a brav, uh, that's um, Brasingtons. Uh, I I I I don't even keep I, I keep track of who that, that, that's Brasington <laughs> slash. Um, ah, okay. Aya uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. To me, the the interesting thing is is when you look at all the different takes on jhana, they're all radically different. Right, they none of them agree with each other, and and we have a scale, right? From mm -hmm. let's say, Brasington Ayakema's idea of smile, that's the first oh. jhana, right? Yeah. To yeah. Bravamso's, the first jhana only appears when the entire sensory domain is effaced and you've entered a void, black void space. So we have this range. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, and yeah. somewhere in between, everybody else follows falls. I'm yeah, yeah. I'm kind of sort of 
I guess I'm just short of Bravamso in that pretty much everybody else looks at jhana as though it's a meditation technique. And for them, it's kind of a really yeah. a mental projection. Right, right. Uh, which, you know, for me, not, sorry, um, jhana is really experiential. You know, it's something that emerges spontaneously from within <clears throat> when you're meditating. It's not dictated by the individual. <clears throat> but, it, but it starts happening way before the sensory domain has disappeared. Right. Um, right.